Hi, it's Joy, and today I'm going to be watching Squid Game Season 1, Episode 1, Red Light, Green Light. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited to start this show. I'm also quite scared as well, I can't lie. Um, this show won the most recent poll on my Patreon for a new show for me to react to, so if you're interested in getting the unedited version of this reaction or any of my reactions, you can find those on my Patreon. You get those two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance, and you can vote on future polls, sponsor shows, and all sorts. Um, but yes, I have obviously heard a lot about this show. I, I vaguely know the premise, like I have, it was always a show I planned to put on a poll so I made sure to not like read up on spoilers or anything. I feel like red light, green light is like a thing where you know there's like a doll and if she turns around you have to stop. Um, I don't really know much more than that about this episode and I know it's like a series of games it's not just one thing and that it, it, it's it's a lot apparently but no I'm just really excited to watch it so I remember one article I did read which was not a spoiler article was talking about how the English subtitles weren't very good and so initially I was like oh look and um, the dub's better but then I did a bit more research I had a friend help me um well a friend mentioned it to me and I looked it up myself and I could confirm that the English CC subtitles are just the typed up dubbed version and the dubbed version is not as accurate a translation whereas just the subtitles that just say English is a much closer translation to the original Korean and I much prefer watching things in the original language with subtitles so I will be doing it that way. If that is not the best way to do it then do let me know um, but yeah that's how I am planning on watching this. So yes, scared, I'm excited, let's go. <laughs> I love the games kids come up with. It's a very intense game. <laughs> kids do have fun. <laughs> I don't think the games we're going to be playing later are going to be as fun. Is that the person that came up with the idea for Squid Game? He's not doing too well. She's looking for hidden money. Don't steal extra money. <laughs> Good for her. You can't steal money from your mother. Oof. So he's not a very good person. It seems as though he's got gambling debts. I imagine that's what the loan he's paying off is, and he's here right now spending the money he just got to pay for his daughter's birthday present. And I don't think he deserves what I imagine is coming to him in the Squid Games, but. I'm gonna get thrown out now. Although they want your money, so they probably will not throw you out, even if you assault someone. Betting should be banned. People have a right to freedom, but gambling is an addiction. You need to get lucky sometimes. Don't waste the money, she clearly knows. Ooh. He's surrounded. He's not going to have any money, is he? People he owes. Ooh. I mean, putting the straw back in makes that undrinkable. Did she pickpocket him? Gross! I hope he's got an infectious disease. Oh lord, what, what for? Jesus Christ, for real? <laughs> That's not legal, surely. I mean, I don't know that these people particularly care about legality, but... Is he going to ask to borrow money for his birthday? Jesus Christ. Bless her. <laughs> Have you seen what's inside yet? <sighs> you should have directed him to get one of the stuffed animals. Hmm. 
좋은 선물을 사 줄게. 가요, 약속. Staying alive might matter most to her. 너 작년 생일 생각해 봐. 우리들 금방 생일. 아니야. 응. Oh, what was she gonna say? Are they moving away or something? 좋은 기회를 드리고 No. So it's how they get people to agree to the bigger stakes. So why would someone do this to you? What's the catch? Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh, no wonder this is how they find desperate people, people that are willing to do this for the hope of getting money. No! They are targeting those in need. Whatever you're going through right now in your life, your life is worth more than this. He's a good person because he feeds stray cats. You did gamble, you just lost all that money. I get like opportunities in living your life, but I so don't agree with taking kids away from their parents, even if he doesn't appear to be the best dad. It's so hard because I do believe her mother has a right to her baby too, but I just. They shouldn't take her to the US either. Your daughter wants you to live and not take shady deals. Don't get in the car. Everyone is definitely tired, so they don't know where they are. They wouldn't know how to get away. Whoa. They even changed them. Are they, the people running it, are they even anonymous to each other? So if, if someone were to whistle blow, they couldn't say, oh, Bob Smith did it. Goodness, these people are taking advantage of those in need. Is that a pickpocket? Do you think she has it? Jesus Christ. From voice modulated things. Will they? Don't have a choice. Oof. They are targeting the vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Although consent without all the information is a little iffy. This is definitely rich people with way too much money taking advantage of poor people for some kind of sick pleasure. Oh. Making them smile for their pictures is sick. How desperate are all of these people? Is this like an experiment, like a social study, or is it literally just rich people making their own Hunger Games? Oh. He was supposed to be living his perfect life. I'm pretty sure this is the only thing I know about in this game, in this show, what this game is, because it was everywhere. I tried to avoid it. You can begin now. Jesus. Something about him speaking English instead of Korean was more scary. Like, who is he talking to? like a kid's game, but a weird, freaky one. This is going to be a fatal bet. Like I said, they know this game because you could not avoid it.
정신아, 개쇼하지 말고 일어나. Don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move, don't move. Oh fuck. Holy shit, don't move, don't move, don't move. I know why you want to, but just stop. I get why you're running, but... Uh, this is horrific. Is she going to turn around again soon? Holy shit, they're just dying on top of each other. <sighs> Jesus Christ, that's sick. I just, I don't know how realistic it is to think that they would ever let you go after this. Even if you completed all the games. No doubt the games are designed so that you can't, like this one clearly was. Why is the old man having such a great time with this? I guess because he's not got anything to lose, unlike the others. He's dying. She's going faster. He is trying to help his friend. They'll eliminate you if you're not there in five minutes. She's using him, smart girl. It's every man for himself. No human should be put in this position. How sick do you have to be? <laughs> the old man, I guess. I know I probably wants money to clear for his family and everything, but if he knows he's dying. So him being so happy as everyone else around him is a bit concerning. He's gonna try and catch her and mess her up. She made it. Oh god! Saved him. I have a favorite character right now. Oh, fuck. How do you cope? How do you just? move on with your life if you ever survive this thing jesus christ yep this place is being run by rich people with way too much money okay this was a brilliant first episode i can see why everyone has made such a big deal about this show um it is a twisted show that is for sure but i kind of knew that going into it um this definitely it seems as though it's people with way too much money, way too much power, taking advantage of those who are far letter off, who are desperate, um, using them to try and... I don't even know, I guess, are they like broadcasting this to sick people around the... like sick-minded people around the world? Um, how are they making money from it? Getting their sadistic pleasures out of it? And I think the fact that every single one of them, despite being drugged and waking up in clothes you did not go to sleep in or go unconscious in, in a place with no idea where you are, no guarantees of your safety or of anything, the fact that they all 556, I believe, 456, I believe, of them, people signed up to it shows you just what desperate people will do when they feel like they have no other choice. And, oh, it's heartbreaking. It's awful. It's... It shows you the depths that people end up in and how other people can take advantage of them. Um, see, I'm so glad we got to see, oh, I'm gonna struggle to remember his name, any na names in this show, I am horrendously English, I s I'm very, I struggle with remembering names that aren't names that are familiar to me, and then with my chronic fatigue syndrome and ME, my, I struggle to remember even names that I've heard a thousand times every day, but I believe his name's Song, um, Song Jun, he, seeing his life, they did such a good job of kind of, showing you just what a dire straits he's in 
how it's not only just he owes money to loan sharks, he owns money to the bank, and his little girl's going to be taken from him, and unless he magically gets loads of money, he's going to lose her. Now, I think if this, if he were to end, at the end of all of this, even if he got rich, I feel like she's probably better off without him, simply because of the traumatised man he'll be in, he'll probably gamble the money away regardless in the end, because addiction is a illness, and he's not exactly getting it treated. Um, but my heart breaks for him, because... Addiction is an illness, and it definitely seems as though he had everything going for him, and he made some bad choices, and now he's here. I feel sorry for his mother, because she clearly loves him and her granddaughter, and is losing them both. I feel sorry for the girl, because she loves her dad, and she didn't want to break his heart on her birthday. She wanted to spend time with him and a fried chicken with him, and she was happy with trying to, trying to make him happy and not feel bad that he was kind of giving her a crap birthday, and I just... I feel so sorry for all of them. And then, you know, I think another thing that shows you is even someone that is to be the ideal son, the ideal successful son, like his friend, can be in just as dire straits as the next person. Um, the capitalist society we live in is evil and it sucks you in. Um, and yeah, I, I'm scared about this show. Um, I'm scared about what it's going to happen. Um, but these are clearly diff people from different walks of life who are in terrible, desperate positions for different reasons and I'm excited to get to know them. Um, to see the way they pull through or not, but I'm also like, I refuse to be attached to anyone, although number I think it was 199. The fact that, in the midst of all of this, in the midst of the absolute massacre and carnage, and knowing that you holding on to that person could cause you to move if he falls, the fact that he tried to say he saved someone else's life in the middle of all of that. I just can't, and he's not going to survive because having that good a heart, I feel like this is the sort of game where you don't have to be beyond selfish. Although part of the rule was that if everybody agrees, the games will end. So literally after the first bullet, I'd be like, let's all agree, the games are over, right? I don't know if it works like that. You can't voluntarily quit the games, but you can't have everyone, I don't know. But just number 199, the fact that he saved someone else's life, he's, he was thinking about somebody else beyond himself in that moment was everything. Um, but I, I'm scared, I'm stressed, I do not want to get attached to anybody. The pickpocket girl, I, I'm sad for her, I think she does not look very old, I'm sad about what her life must have been like to put her in the position where she was under that man's wing and now but she's just going on her own pickpocketing, pickpocketing people and clearly she stole a decent sum of money. I'm not entirely sure how the conversion rates work here, so how much four million actually is, but you know, she stole um, enough that he had been like, everything's great, I'm gonna buy my daughter a but wonderful present and all that kind of thing with the money um but she's still here so who does she owe how does she get there the old man i mean the fact that he was enjoying it so much was a little concerning given that like even if you think i have nothing to lose if i go out with a bullet to the brain it's better than a tumor or whatever and you know i don't worry about my debts if i'm dead if even if that was what he was thinking um people are still being massacred around you. People who had long lives ahead of them. I just be a little concerned about that, but I can also see that maybe for him, it was making him feel alive, I don't know. So yeah, that, that was a very, very good episode. They set the scene with the main character's life fantastically, and then the way they just, you saw how desperate these people were, and some of them, like our main character, Song, were gamblers, they were addicts. I imagine a fair few of them have addiction issues because that's how you get into so much debt. And yet he, and so kind of, it's a, if I win these games, I get the money sort of deal. You could see why they were never going to turn it down. But it just, it breaks your heart. It terrifies you. And God knows what is next. Because this was just the first game. Um, I really don't know anything else about this show other than the fact that I knew it was like not all sunshine and rainbows. I knew these games were not exactly good. And I, I did know about the red light, green light and people getting shot if they moved. That is all I know. So I know no spoilers about the show. I do not know who survives, who doesn't survive, um, or what's actually going on. This was a brilliant first episode, even if I'm somewhat traumatised now. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction and all of my reactions on my Patreon. You get that two weeks in advance, the edited version one week in advance. And thank you for watching.